the airpiece hopper fiber and BUV aircraft lands at the Akano Ibium International Airport in Ogun with National Assembly members, ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and other dignitaries for the official reopening of the runway for use. <laughs> To God Almighty be all the glory. The minister led the team the for the tape cotton ceremony and official handover of the runway. We cut the tape to commission and open for operations the Akano IBM International Airport in Ugu and to pray that may it be good for this community, for Southeast, for Nigeria, and for humanity. Amen. Back at the tent, they all express their gratitude to the president for the prompt intervention. As we celebrate today, I wish to put on record the profound gratitude of Ndenugu, to His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, our dear president and commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for his unparalleled support and commitment to this historic and timely critical infrastructure of gate, a clear testimony of his determination to rebuild the nation through the provision of critical infrastructure to stimulate economic growth and development of the, of the Nigerian nation. Others seized the opportunity to call for more international flights to land at the airport as soon as the borders are opened. The first is an immediate commercial flight taken off from Enugu from today or tomorrow so that our people will still the problem of traveling by road. The second is to increase the number of international flights and operators coming to Enugu. The Minister of Aviation, who announced the approval of an additional 1 billion naira for the international wing of the airport, also says flights will resume immediately. The meaning of the opening of the airport is that it's open to flight operations. So the local flights can come start from today and the international on the 5th of September once the COVID-19 had opened the gates to come in. As a matter of fact, Yesterday, Saturday, just before I left my office, I had approved and released the sum of 1 billion naira to continue the international terminal building being run by the Chinese. As the airport reopens to business, air passengers are optimistic that this would once again revive the economy of the southeast and open it up to the world for investment.